Start match eight in three, two, one, go. All robots springing forward, 82A, grabbing a blue mobile phone from across the field. Their alliance partners grabbing one from the blue parking tile, depositing both of those into scoring zones. 48-180S trying to drop one, not quite making it. Autonomous goes to blue. Driver control in three, two, one, go. Even before Autonomous was over, I heard the drivers already talking strategy for what they were going to do in the match. 62A trying to play their defensive strategy again on 48-180 as they try to collect cones from the field. Their alliance partners on blue, 929U depositing a goal into the 20-point scoring zone. We have refs counting down, pinning on the field again, and it's gonna be another strong defensive match. Vexmen trying to make their way over to the scoring zone, deposit a mobile goal, heading over, and yes, they're able to put it over the PVC divider into the 20-point scoring zone. Having the highest act mobile goal in a 20-point scoring zone. 929U on blue says, here I come, and deposits a mobile goal into the 10-point scoring zone for the Blue Alliance. 40 seconds left in the match. 929U and their driver taking advantage of the match loading area. Taking notes from the loader, quickly adding to the stack. Extend and stack onto their mobile goal. 20 seconds left. Goal, then depositing a mobile goal into the 10 point count, 10 point scoring zone. Five seconds left. Blue makes their way to a parking space. Ooh. We have some chains left on the field after some strong defense again we've seen in this match. All right, all you need is a dream and a dremel as I'm reading that on the red line. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll send it over to Paul and Karthik. Thank you, Tina. So, the science division looks like they got off the snide there. Well, the one thing they did differently is they did go offensive in, during autonomous. So they scored two mobile goals in autonomous. They got that lead with the autonomous bonus. But during tally -op, they went back to the defense. And uh, this time it seemed pretty darn effective because remember, these teams that are trying to go fast, they're really cutting their gear ratios to the wire. They're trying to be as fast as possible. When they meet heavy defense, those motors are st spending more time at stall. And, you know, DC brush motors, man, they spend time at stall. They get a little bit weak, but, you know, until those brushes cool off. So defense can, you know, affect the performance of other robots, not just in getting in their way but, you know, slowing them down and making them run at stall. That's really an interesting factor that Paul just brought up there. A lot of times we think about defense as positional and denying scoring opportunities, but what Paul's saying is because of the physics involved with DC motors, you're also just degrading the performance of your opponent over time. If they're not designed, you know, they're, they're trying to cut the edge for speed, and you've got a drive base designed for pushing around, you're going to be better suited. Right, to, it depends where you heat. are on the power curve for the motor. Yep. Really interesting stuff. So I think we have a replay from that match. Well, let's take a look. Uh, we've heard that before. Um, so, <laughs> so 929U is, uh, we have a peanut gallery over here. They're quite hilarious. Uh, so the you know, blue line scoring early, trying to get those stacks going, you know, then playing defense. Scoring, then playing defense. A little bit different than their all out defensive strategy. You know, scoring, moving a goal out of your way, um, you know, just trying to keep those mobile goals out of, uh, out of the grasp of the Red Alliance. Well, what they did was they took two mobile goals and they shoved them in the corner and they guarded those mobile goals. There's nothing preventing you from doing that in the rules. No, nothing. Well, the only thing preventing you from doing it is you go get those goals as quickly as possible so they can't do that to you. Right, and research wasn't able to do that, and that's really going to show in this score when we take a look at it right now, so the score from that match. There we go. Science takes it 124 to 44. Science is up to one and two, and they are still very alive. If Science actually wins their next two matches, they could possibly f still finish in first place, even with those two losses. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of help from some...